Hey learners, Frosty the LLNN guy here. Have you always wondered how good learners always seem to understand what their teacher is asking of them? Wonder what makes them so special? And what does this photo of my often vicious but still quite curious cat nuggets have to do with learning? The answer's up soon. There's a few things you can do to improve your learning game. And the best thing you can do around that is make them habits. So let's start with the most obvious thing here, goal setting. I covered this a little bit in my video on confidence, but I think we need to go into a little bit more detail here. So there's three basic ingredients around goals that'll help them become successful. If you make them specific, measurable and realistic, then you should have a better chance at success. There's no good in just saying, I wanna be a better writer. Being specific means knowing exactly what it is you're wanting to learn. So if you're wanting to improve your writing, is it your spelling? Is it your grammar? Is it your descriptive language? Be really specific about what you want. Next, you're gonna to have to be able to measure your goal. Ask yourself, how are you gonna know that your spelling and or grammar has improved? What are you actually specifically looking for? Next, is your goal realistic? I'd love to be able to run a marathon, but I don't think I'd get further than 5Ks, let alone 42. So maybe start off with 5Ks, then I might push to 10, then I might push to 15, and eventually get to the 42. My next habit is around being motivated and interested in what you're learning. I used to say that my students needs to take responsibility for their learning. And I think that's really what I'm talking about there. Motivation is not something your teacher can do. Being motivated comes from you. This is because motivation, as we know, it comes in three distinct areas. There's A motivation, extrinsic motivation, and intrinsic motivation. A motivation refers to someone who isn't motivated to do anything at all. Extrinsic is motivation that is brought on by an external factor, maybe money or fear of being punished. Whereas Intrinsic motivation is the inner motivation you have. Something inside you makes you want to do the thing that you're doing. As you probably guessed, the best motivation is intrinsic motivation. That's because the reward is the learning itself. This is not something your teacher can do. Intrinsic motivation is your responsibility. So the best way to become intrinsically motivated in what you're doing is to really immerse yourself and become curious about your topic. Watch a bunch of videos, read a bunch of things about it. Don't make the burden of curiosity your teacher's responsibility. It's really your responsibility to make that intrinsic motivation matter. Which of course brings me back to my curious cat nuggets. They might say that curiosity killed the cat, but it definitely helped the learner. As always, thanks for listening. Feel free to ask me any questions. And if you have a suggestion for me to cover something, please just let me know. I'm Frosty, the LLNN guy.